Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the KWE Royal Rumble. And starting it off, it's going to be Randy Orton. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. And it's the United States Champion, MJF, the A-hole. Look at that t-shirt he's showing off. RKO is mid. You've got to be kidding me. And here comes the man, the myth, the legend, Randy Orton, one of the top superstars in KWE, going up against MJF for the United States Championship. And the match is on its way, an RKO from Randy Orton. And MJF is down, but he's rolling out of the ring like a wise man he is. And Orton going after him. And are you kidding me? A syringe to the eye, a needle to the eye from MJF. And he's gonna put him into the salt of the earth. And it's stitched in the arm is back. Is Randy Orton gonna tap? And he does for the first time ever in Randy Orton's 12 year career in KWE. He's tapped and MJF is still your United States champion. And Orton is pissed. Blood's coming from the eye. And that was a crazy matchup. And next up we got Edge with his buddy WWE RR Edge entering the ring now. And they're gonna be going up against the world champion Christian. And there he is, cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase in December. And now he's going up against his longtime partner in KWE, Edge. And Edge going to go for that spear. Wait a second, what's Nick saying to him? Oh, out of nowhere, Christian, he's going to hit it. He stitched it in the kill switch. And Edge's face has to be busted open. Is that it? It's it. Christian retains the world championship. And Christian celebrates with the gold. What does this leave for longtime brothers, WWE, OR Edge, and Edge? And Nick helping his idol up, looking him in the eyes, and oh my gosh, a kick straight to the gut and a huge power driver. Edge's neck has to be broken. Are you kidding me? This is the shocker of the century. What a way to start off 2022. WWE, OR Edge just turned on Edge. And this is crazy. And next up, we got a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship. Making his way to the ring, the former champion, John Morrison. And next up, we got former United States Champion, KWE Champion, Money in the Bank winner, Shelton Benjamin. And right now, we got the current Intercontinental Champion who made his debut in December, MVP. And he's defending against both men here tonight. And John Morrison going to go for that starship pain right on the Shelton Benjamin, and he hits it. But MVP coming in the ring right there, hits his finisher. Is that it? Not like this. And that's it. MVP is still your intercontinental champion. But wait a second. Who's that? It's Gold Dust. Gold Dust has returned to KWE, and I think he wants that IC title that MVP holds. And are we going to get this matchup? It looks like we are. And we've been waiting a long time for this one. The KWE Championship currently making his way to the ring. Brian Danielson. And he's been trying to get this KWE Championship since last year. He's going up against the cleaner and the current KWE Champion, Kenny Omega. And he's done everything he could to keep this title around his waist. What's he going to pull this time at the Royal Rumble? And they're going at it, and Brian Danielson's going to hit that nice snap suplex, almost breaking Kenny Omega's neck there. And I think he's going to finish it off with the running knee, the running knee to the fit. Look in the corner. It's the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks are here, and KWE with a double super kick to the ref. And Kenny takes advantage with the one-winged angel. Not like this. Don Callis rolls in the ring. Three. And Kenny Omega is still your KWE champion, thanks to the Young Bucks. This is chaos. This isn't even right. I don't think this should be even be official. But next up, we're going to have the Universal Champion making his way is Drew McIntyre, the Scottish psychopath, with that flaming sword. And here comes the current Universal Champion, Braun Strowman. He was undefeated last year since winning the title in April. And the Championship is on the line. Braun Strowman versus the Scottish Psycho. And Braun Strowman Drew picking McIntyre. him up for the big power slam, but what the heck? The lights are going off and what the? there's a casket. 
and Braun realizes it's the Undertaker's casket, and he opens it up, and oh my gosh, here comes the dead man, and he is rotten to the flesh. I think Braun Strowman's just seen things, because out of nowhere, here comes Drew McIntyre with the Claymore kick. Is that going to be it? Is the distraction going to cause McIntyre to win the gold? And it does. Your new Universal Champion, Drew McIntyre. What does this mean for Braun Strowman? But we'll be right back after this commercial break. Hey, kids. Do you like Sweet Baby Ray's? Yes! How about some bacon bits? What about SpongeBob's house? Oh, yeah. Buttermilk waffles? Yeah. Then you'll love Coda's mild chili yeah. beans. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back to the KWE Royal Rumble, and I just wanted to say that it is time for the official Royal Rumble match, and uh. I don't know why I put text over this when I could literally just talk, but uh, it's going to be random entrances. Each man's going to enter at random times. Looks like we're going to get our first entrant going here, and it's none other than Cody Rhodes. And Cody Rhodes, former KWE champion back in 2011. This could be a huge win for his career. And entrant number two is Sammy Guevara. And both these men are going to go at it right now as they ring the bell. Looks like they're going to go into a little lockup here. Sammy pushes Cody. Cody uh, goes right over Sammy there. And a big kick. Big drop kick by Sammy Guevara. Gets Cody into that headlock. And, oh, Cody swipes out of it. Locking up the arm of Sammy Guevara. And a knee to the face. Looks like that had to hurt. And entrant number three, we got Buddy Murphy. One half of the Raw Tag Team Champions. Goes for a swing and misses. And Cody Rhodes going to go for that crossroads, it looks like. But Buddy Murphy lifts him up into a nice big neck breaker onto his knee. And a super kick to Guevara. And a fat, oh my god, he just backflipped onto the mat. And entrant number four is Darby Allen making his Royal Rumble debut. Oh no. And Darby's going crazy. Darby's going crazy with the Hurricane. Sends Buddy into Cody. And now going for that coffin drop on the Sammy's back. In entrant number five, we got Umaga, the Samoan bulldozer with a huge clothesline, the Darby Allen. Cody Rhodes getting up only to get a spiked thumb by Umaga. And Murphy coming at it. Umaga goes for a swing of misses, and Murphy hits him with his finishing move. And that's crazy, he even lifted up that man. He's going to be like 400 pounds. Murphy trying to get him over the top rope. Oh my god, Umaga is eliminated. Darby Allen and Murphy. And here comes entrant number six, JD Spike. And he hops in the ring and grabs his rival Guevara and hits that oh, yeah. JD Spike yeah. straight Get on him. Punk. Cody Rhodes going for something, yeah, but yeah, JD yeah, hits that break. neck breaker and sends Cody onto the mat. And now entrant number seven, we got Doink the Clown. And this is a scary one because JD is afraid of clowns. And what's he got for him? A balloon? I don't think JD's a fan of that because he kicks him in the gut and removes his wig. How humiliating. And eliminates Doink like it's nothing. Oh, God. But wait a second. That's JD Spike's girlfriend, Kelly Kelly. What's she doing here? Bruh. She must have found oh, out he was no. cheating on her in the backstage locker room with Asuka. Because she just kicked him where the sun don't shine. And Kelly's out of here. I think Cody's going to take advantage. He puts JD Spike on the top rope and big drop kick. Sends JD out of the ring. And now it looks like entrant number eight, the returning Dolph Ziggler. And Dolph is here. And Cody and Dolph gonna lock up. And here comes Murphy at it. And from the top rope, we got Darby Allen with a coffin drop. A huge coffin drop on all the men. And now I think he's gonna do the sunset flip to Guevara, but Guevara reverses into some backdrop neck breaker there. And now gonna go for another neck breaker. Sends Darby flying. Oh my gosh, he's gotta be dead. And entrant number nine, we got last year's Royal Rumble winner, Sheamus. And Sheamus gonna go for a bro kick to Guevara. A huge bro kick. And there's Cody and Sheamus going at it. Buddy and Dolph trying to eliminate each other. Cody Rhodes with a suplex to Sheamus. And he's waiting for the next entrance. And it's, she'll be number 10, RVD. And there he is. 
from the ladder, a huge frog splash on the Cody Rhodes. And now I think RVD is going to pick up the scraps, take out the garbage, if you will, as he picks up all the men. And I think he's going to pile them on top of each other. Oh my God, he got four men on there, four superstars. And RVD going for that rolling thunder. You got to be kidding me. Is he going to hit it? And he does. You're kidding. Oh my gosh. And that was crazy. Buddy and Dolph going out in the next entrant. Number 11 is the loud pack smoking Matt Riddle. And there he is. Is that, is that two joints? He's coming in with two joints for RVD and he's handing them one. And look at them. They're smoking. They're smoking with each other. And they're hugging like they're brothers. Oh, you got to be kidding me. RVD and Matt Riddle are teaming up now. A bro Derek and a DDT. And I think this is a new tag team here in KWE. But next up, we got the Luchador, the former KWE champion, Rey Mysterio, and a big hurricanrana. And he pushes Matt Riddle. Well, he pushes him backwards in and there. Is he going to hit that Covenant 619? And he does to both Matt Riddle and RVD. Sends them flying down. Oh, and this is a WrestleMania dream match right here. Mysterio and Darby Allen, and they're going at it. And Darby looks like he's going to send him in for a huge drop. Oh, right on the back. Oh, and a neck-breaking face buster. I don't know what that was, but it was effective, that's for sure. And speaking of effective, a super kick that knocks Buddy Murphy straight out of the ring into the cameraman. And a big super kick to Matt Riddle. Sends him into his buddy RVD and they go over the top rope. And entrance number 13. Holy sh It's Balor Boy Figs. Balor Boy Figs is in KWE. And he's going straight on the top rope with a huge stomp to Rey Mysterio's back. And a Pele kick to Ziggler. What is BBE doing in KWE? He's delivering a huge death note to Rey Mysterio. He hits the death note, his finishing move. And he's gonna throw him over the top rope like it's nothing. But watch out behind you, super kick from Dolph Ziggler. Damn it. BBE is out and what an upset. And entrance number 14, we got ourselves Brody Lee. Brody Lee is back in KWE. And he's gonna go for that spin around clothesline. About to snap Ziggler's head in half. And Brody Lee is here. The crowd is going wild. And he's trying to eliminate Dolph. And all the men going at it. We got Cody and Sheamus in the corner. And Cody with a big punch. And Sammy and Darby going at it. And entrance number 15 is Sammy Zayn. Sammy Zayn's here with a big halluva kick to Darby Allen. And another one to Sammy. Sends him over the top rope. Is he out? And Sammy is out. Sammy eliminates Sammy. How ironic. And I think Sammy going for that blue thunder bomb, and he hits it. About breaks Darby's back there, and he's celebrating only for entrance number 16 to come out. Who could it be? Oh no, it's the boogeyman, and he's coming to get ya. And Sammy better watch out, he got that huge tree trunk and hits him in the stomach, and just welling him in the back with that thing. It's gotta weigh about 70 pounds, and he just throws Sammy like some sort of monster. And a big huge splash from the boogeyman. He's going wild in the KWE Rumble. Another splash onto the back of Brody. But wait a second. Entrant number 17. What the hell? It's Jason Voorhees. But he just disappeared. You better watch out behind you, boogeyman. Because he's got the sack off. And he's trying to eliminate the boogeyman. Jason's here. But wait, the boogeyman eliminates Jason. Oh, that could have went bad. Wait a second, the lights are going off. Oh my, it's Jason's mother. Pamela Voorhees is here to get revenge for Boogeyman eliminating her son and she just eliminates the Boogeyman. What is going on here in the KWE Royal Rumble tonight? And entrance number 18, it's HCW. Hill Club Wrestling is here. Oh, this night can't get any better. And he's sliding under the bottom rope there. What's he up to? Pulling out a big sort of glass, a big glass sheet, a 10 by 10. And he's just, he's grabbing Sammy. And he's sliding him under the bottom rope. He could have just eliminated him. I don't know why he didn't. 
Oh my gosh, a big suplex, a back suplex through the glass, and glass is shattered everywhere all over the arena. And entrance number 19 is Jeff Hardy. Oh, and Hardy and Darby Allen. What a match here, what a feud this can be. He's gonna go for the twist of fate and he hits it. And Darby is gonna be dead after that one. And a big super kick from Ziggler out of nowhere. Wait, here comes Hero Club. Hill Club Wrestling gets eliminated by Dolph Ziggler. And Brody Lee with a big boot. And Ziggler's gonna have to get surgery after that. Cody and Sheamus still going at it. And here comes number 20, Seth freaking Rawlings. The Monday Night Messiah with a huge curb stump to Darby Allen. And now he's going after Dolph Ziggler there. What's he gonna do? Set him up to some sort of Falcon's arrow there. And coming entrance number 21, we got Matt Hardy, the other half of the Hardy Boys, Jeff Hardy's brother, and he's helping him out, going straight after Brody Lee. And a double twist of fate, oh my god. And Matt's gonna hold him down. I think Jeff's gonna get on the top rope and do a huge swan tom bomb onto Brody. And they're just going after him for some reason. The Hardy Boys are going wild. And the lights are going off. This can't be good news. It's entrant number 22. The Fiend is here with a double mandible claw to the Hardy Boys. And he's got him down. Brody Lee and Bray Wyatt looking at each other. And I think they're going to team up for the first time in four years. Eliminating the Hardy Boys. And the Wyatts are talking there as entrant number 23 is coming to the ring. And it's the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. And I think he's going to make a statement there as he picks up Darby Allen. Is he going to hit... The F5, baby, he does. Splats Darby Allen right on the mat. And Brock looking at the Wyatts. This has got to be bad. He's going after him. Wait, Sami Zayn rushes in only to get a massive F5 off the top rope. His ribs got to be broken after that. Oh, my God. Entrance number 24. It's Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan is back. The band is back together. And the Wyatts going straight after Brock Lesnar. Big clothesline from Brody. And this is crazy. They're holding the beast up so the Fiend can take care of business with a sister Abigail. This is, this is chaos. The Wyatts are back and the Fiend eliminates Brock Lesnar. And who is going to stop the reckoning force of the Wyatt family? And I think it's entrance number 25, Y2J, Chris freaking Jericho. But this is a three-on-one situation here. Wait, Darby, chopped to the knee to Brody. And now they're going after him. I think Brody's going to hit a huge power bomb onto the table. Wait, Darby reverses it. Hurricanrana sends Brody through the table. And Jericho, with the Judas effect, eliminates Eric Rowan. And now the Fiend is alone. He's going after Darby, throws him in the Jericho. And the Fiend taking care of business. Code breaker. Wait, nope. The Fiend's going to throw him over the top row. Here comes Darby Allen with a huge triple power bomb. Oh, my God. And Darby picking up the Fiend with another finishing move right there. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it was crazy effective. And Darby going on the top row with a huge coffin drop to the Fiend. Is Darby going to do it? If Darby eliminates the Fiend, this is... And he does... The Fiend is eliminated, and he gets right back up and just stares at Darby. That's not good. But now Darby and Jericho are going to go at it. I think we're getting our next entrance here. Number 26, Shinsuke Nakamura. And he's going to hit the Kinshaska on Darby Allen. And now that backdrop neck breaker to uh, Chris Jericho there. And a huge Kinshaska. No, Chris Jericho reverses for that code breaker. And Shinsuke is done for. The knees to the face by Jericho. And he throws him over the top rope. Shinsuke is out. Jericho celebrating here. Oh my god. He's back. Entrance number 27. CM Punk. He's back in KWE. He's in the Royal Rumble. And I think he's going straight after Chris Jericho. Jericho goes for a punch but misses. Punk lifts him up. GTS straight to the face and a clothesline eliminates Chris Jericho Punk is here in KWE oh and Punk and Darby Allen what a match for this century he's going for the GTS wait no Darby reverses it flips him over 
and Darby with the sunset flip power bomb straight to the head of CM Punk. Darby standing up. I think he's going to try to eliminate Punk here. All the other men in the Royal Rumble are going at it. And entrance number 28, AJ Styles. And I feel like he really needs to win this as he's going to lock up with Darby Allen. But well, here comes Punk. Punk and Styles have had a rivalry since 2017 in KWE. And Punk's going for the GTS. He's going to hit it. Wait, no. Styles reverses it into a Styles Clash. And Punk is down. Styles lifts him up. Is he going to eliminate him? I don't know. Now Dolph Ziggler with a huge zigzag to Seth Rollins. What's Ziggler going to do next? I think he's going to go for a huge suplex over the top rope. Oh my gosh. Seth Rollins is out. But well, here comes Styles from behind. He's going to eliminate Dolph Ziggler. But no, here comes Punk and Dolph's feet did not touch the floor there. And I think we're getting their next entrance. Number 29, Kevin Owens. Fight, Owens, fight. And Kevin Owens and Darby. Oh my gosh, a huge stunner from Owens. Huge stunner. And Owens, is he going to hit another one on CM Punk? He does. Owens is going crazy. Oh, well, reverse. Another stunner to AJ Styles. Oh my gosh, sends him flying over the top rope. And Styles is eliminated. Here comes Ziggler, only to get another stunner from Kevin Owens. And this is my pick to win the Royal Rumble. Wait, what is the Usos? What are they doing here? They're not even in the match. The dang Usos super kick to Owens and eliminates them. This is bull crap. They're not even in the match. Why did they do this? But anyways, we got to move on to entrance number 30. The last entrant is Pentagon Jr. He's going straight after Darby Allen. What a dream matchup right here. A huge bro kick by Sheamus. No, Cody reverses it. Huge slam. Cody Rhodes eliminates Sheamus, sends him through the table. And now Cody going after Pentagon to get a huge kick only. And a GTS from CM Punk. He lifts up Ziggler. Oh my, no. Ziggler catches the foot, catches the leg. And he's going to eliminate Punk with a huge super kick. And Punk goes flying onto the barricade. Oh no, from behind, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes eliminates Ziggler. And we are down to the final three men. What is going to happen? Super kick from Pentagon. Cody Rhodes going after him. I think Pentagon's going to eliminate him here, but Darby jumps on the back, scoops him up, flips him over. And that was planned. Pentagon is out. It's Cody and Darby. And I think Darby's going to go for that sunset flip again. Hurricane Rana. No, Cody reverses it, only to hit that big kick to Darby. Darby goes flying, and he's out. Oh my gosh, Cody Rhodes is your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the KWE Royal Rumble, Cody Rhodes. He will get his opportunity at WrestleMania for a world championship. And what a Rumble match. And next up, we got the Undisputed Championship on the line. Making his way to the ring, the almighty Bobby Lashley. He's flexing for us. And here comes the undisputed champion, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. He's defending here tonight. This is a big matchup never before seen. I don't know who's going to win, but it's going to be a big match. We got Lashley going for that spear. But wait, Roman with a Superman punch. Roman going off the ropes. A spear from Roman Reigns. Is that it? That can't be it. It's it. Your winner and still undisputed champion, Roman Reigns.